Hello, my name's Corbin, and I'm going to play this game. What game? The Deep Paths. And I'm going to play it as far as I can get. Now, it is a dungeon crawling game. It just recently got released on Steam. Looks like it was very uh, indie done, which is fun. I like indie games because I'm so hip, man. But I'm just sitting here at the uh, creation screen. I've already created my characters. I'll go through that in a second, but I just want you to sit back and listen for a moment. Because, as you can hear, there's some epic music going on in the background. Super good music. Good enough to where I looked up to see who did it. And the feller that did it, um, he uh, also did the tracks for uh, Fall of the Dungeon Guardian. Another dungeon crawling game, which has good music, so... That's something worth pointing out. I thoroughly enjoy this little track here. Uh, the rest of the game, I don't... I never heard any music. I only played for about a half hour, but it was just background ambient stuff. Uh, this little bit of music right here is pretty much all they had, but... I mean, if that's all you're gonna have, it might as well be fucking awesome. Which is what this is, so... Yeah, yeah, it's super good. Anyways, I'm gonna just let this play out a little bit longer. Ah, yes. That makes me feel warm and fuzzy. So, as far as what I chose for characters, uh, you can pick between fighter, rogue, and mage. Male, female, you can pick your name, and then you can roll for stats. So, I that was real quick and simple. I didn't need to go through that so much. Uh, I got my two fighters, this is what I went with, a mage and a rogue. Uh, the fighter, obviously, strength, build, uh, dexterity, and vitality. Now, notice these have the same stats, because once you roll something, you can reuse it. Uh, if I wanted, I could have the same four exact character, but I used the two of the same stats for uh, two of the fighters. I got the mage, you know, I got the high intellect, and of course the rogues got the high dexterity, and decent number of stats going on for the rest. Okay, that's pretty simple. Y'all know what that means. Let's go forth. In the city I'll be quiet of Yerevan, now. A devastating earthquake has leveled the market district and wreaked havoc upon the citizenry. Your group is summoned to a back alley storehouse by a mysterious letter from the King's steward, begging urgency and discretion, and hinting at a mission dark and dangerous. It seems that the earthquake may have uncovered a secret long hidden, a dark page from history that most had considered to be naught but a fairy tale. Huddled tightly around the letter, you feel a chill creep into your bones, as you read aloud its final sentence, we have found the labyrinth of Ooh, Pandora. that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Apparently that loading screen's uh, some old sound to an old computer that I've never played. Because so I didn't have really old PC when I was younger. I had a gateway with the, with the cows or the whatever. The cow print. Alright, Cloyce, come inside quickly, all of you. Close the door behind you. I'm going to be reading some of this. If you don't want that to happen, just skip forward. Pause it, read it, and skip forward. I apologize, but I like to read it so I can understand it. That's just how I'm going to do it. Uh, I appreciate you responding so promptly. As you can imagine, the city council is very concerned about the implications of what's been discovered here, especially on top of this earthquake drama. Of course, Aline. We'll help in any way we can. I must be honest, though. We're a little confused as to exactly why we're here. The Labyrinth of Andocost? Surely that's some kind of joke. What's really going on here? Your skepticism is understandable. To be frank, it's one of the reasons the king selected you for this. You're not exactly wide-eyed children. You've seen things that the average person will go their entire lives without seeing, and you understand all too well that this world has a darker side. We've traveled, sure. But we also know the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. The labyrinth is just a children's story. What makes you think that you've actually discovered it? Only every scholar in our employ, at least those we could trust to bring down here. They all agree that the chamber we've discovered beneath this very building appears to match our description of the entryway to Andocost underground complex, right down to the cryptic sign that's the staple of the fireside tellings of the tale. Your sanity forfeit, your life you'll forsake. Should you not heed the warning sign, none will escape. Away from the labyrinth, where Andacos hides. Away from the labyrinth, 
lest you die. Ooh, nicely quoted, she says. All right, Andukost, powerful archmage, and the city's most trusted advisor, constructs his massive home beneath our streets, using the abundant wealth that he accumulated throughout his lifetime. As his labyrinth expands, paranoia and distrust, distrust set in. He begins to implement bizarre security measures and enlist foul and fierce monsters to guard his vast liar. Liar. Lair. Yeah, you know. As the height of his madness, he collapses the entrance to his own home, sealing himself in with his wealth and turning his own story into the cautionary tale we now know. My mother used to tell me the story when I was a child. Any time my sister or I acted out of envy or greed, we were reminded of what became of Andokost. Everyone's parents told them that story, just as their parents told them. I suppose, after a few generations, it could simply have been forgotten that the story was based on truth. If it is true, just imagine what could be down there, sealed up for well over a century, just waiting to be discovered. Please, tell me that our main purpose in being summoned here is to enter the labyrinth. Indeed, Aline, you definitely have our attention. What exactly is our mission? Investigate. Enter the chamber below to determine the nature and scope of what lies beneath us, and identify any potential threat that might pose to our city, our <laughs> pose to our city and people. Sorry. In the meantime, we'll keep this entire district isolated. The last thing we want is for word of this discovery to spread, and for every would-be treasure hunter to come galvanizing down here looking for adventure. Okay, understood. Rest assured, we'll get to the bottom of this reporter findings back to you. To that end, I'm going to pin this clarudient, clarudient brooch on you. It will allow us to communicate over distances. Also, take a look around in here and grab anything you might that might be useful to you. I'll ensure that the merchant is compensated. That lantern in front of you would do be a great start. It's dreadfully dingy below. Be careful down there. Keep your wits about you. All right, so we're going to go investigate this long lost place. And I'm excited to do that. And we're going to need that lantern right away. So let's take that. Um, you got to double click for the inventory. Uh, actually, I could hit L. Let me get me out of here. L for lantern. There we go. Uh, I think lantern just lasts forever because there's no meter. And I haven't had it run out on me yet in the little bit that I played. All right, so basic grid base controlling, as you can see, uh, the artwork is, while not filled with lots of stuff, it still looks good, and I think it will serve its purpose in this game. Uh, I don't let that detour me too much. All right, arrows. I double click, and now the party has arrows. So it's kind of a party-based inventory. Which uh, let me go back here real quick. As you can see, we got a we got the inventory all stacking here. Um, I don't see any arrows. Alright, oh, arrows are down here. So that's, everybody uses arrows. Everybody uses the same quiver of arrows, essentially. So, but all the inventory stuff will go in here, and then you can go between the characters and equip them as you see fit. So we got that down. Um, so you can go, you can strafe, turn, yay, all that fun stuff. So... First thing to do is to grab this here pickaxe. Pickaxes are good because they break rocks. And if memory serves me correct, which it should, well, we've, there's some still there's some rocks around here. Let me get in here first. Got a dagger and some more arrows. Let's take them all. I'll do some equipping here in just a little bit once I get a little stuff gathered. Let's take all that. We have a uh, a cloth armor suit and. Probably some mana potion. I probably, I mean, yes. Uh, so this game should have a lot of hidden stuff in it too, which is always fun to look for. Uh, so anyways, here's some rocks. And this is a little bit cumbersome. I have to go in here, double click on the, uh, the thing itself. Nothing's been revealed. Uh, I wish there was just a, I wish you could just double click on the rocks. Knowing that I have the pickaxe, let me uh, break them. But no, it's not going to be that way. All right. Stuff like this you must drag. I'm going to give that to the uh, mage there. Now you can look down. And that helps you do things. Like look at stuff. Uh, see? I got double click here. Double click here. And there you go. Rogue's toolkit. Let's give that to the rogue. 
I'm not sure how that rogue toolkit works yet. I'm sure once we run across the trap or something, we'll figure it out. All right, more arrows. It's not going to let me get that. There we go. I wish if it was in your view, you could just kind of get it, but you got to be right up on it. Empty vial. Uh, sure. Give that to the mage. What else do we got here? I feel like I am... Uh, Ah, what's this? Turn around. Whoops. Turn around. There we go. Another dagger. Let's give that to the rogue. Actually, I'll probably give that to the fighter. I could use one more dagger type thing, though. Um, we looked in here. This reveal, there's nothing in here. That's where the, I picked up some arrows. All right. I should have just did like a perimeter sweep, but I kind of got uh, distracted. I already got those. Okay. Somewhere, I, I know I'm missing a, a list. There's like a list of things to get in here. Uh, here we go. Let's just double check this real quick. All right, so there's uh, the cloth armor suit, the lantern. I got the dagger. Actually, I think I got two daggers. A uh, toll kit, uh, 18 arrows, health potion, mana potion, flask, and pickaxe. So that's everything that I need is here. So... Let's do some equipping real quick. So, the warriors, your front guys, you got double click to get there, then click that, and yada yada. Uh, this is a cloth suit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to the rogue, I think. But here's my other fighter. You're gonna get the other dagger. Uh, actually, the mage will wear the suit. Um. Now what's cool about the uh, the potions, when you need them, when you get under 50% health or mana, an icon will appear, and then you double click it, and it will go to the person that needs it the most. Now, if you're a big micromanager, that might not sound that appealing, but with this kind of battle system, it does make sense. It makes stuff quicker. Uh, I'm a fan of it after fooling around with it for a while. Uh, okay, so let's save. And then we'll call this... Uh... Let's play one. And uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit stuffed up. I I found myself into a cold situation. And I'm not not happy about it. That's not going to stop me from doing my things I like to do. Alright, so M to show the map. We do that right now and we will not see anything. Because we do not have a map for this area. So we have to be on the lookout for that. Ah, right away we see some arrows. So let's get those. Okay. That means somewhere close by we should find a bow, right? One would think. Oh, cool. Uh, let's give one to the rogue. It doesn't matter who I give it to, actually. I keep doing that out of a... None will escape. Hey, another pickaxe. It's somewhat discerning. Okay. Let's grab another pickaxe. Why? I guess in case we missed the first one. Because that, that one pickaxe should be good for everything. But whatever. Oh, you see we got some buttons here. That's what's known as a puzzle. That's going to be for opening uh, that door. But before I open that door, we do a quick little look around here. And you'll notice a few rocks. Let's break those rocks. Boom. Axe. Oh, yes. Go back up. So that axe will do a little more damage. Those daggers do uh, 1 to 4 damage a piece. That axe will do 1 to 6. So it potentially be shitty if I keep getting horrible 1 hits, you know. But I'll take the 2 extra damage if I can, if I can be so lucky. Let's do this again. Sorry, I was going a little slow there. Ah, wooden shield. Okay. So one of them is going to get the axe and one of them is going to get the shield. That's how that's going to work. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to give you the axe. And then let's go. Let's give you the shield. And now you, sir, Mr. Rogue, get that dagger. Alright. I still need a bow, don't I? Well, hopefully we come across one rather soon. 
Uh, I don't remember which order or what or there's there's something upstairs I missed that's supposed to tell me in what order to hit these I don't remember where it was I'm going off memory I think I did this wrong already oh yeah I don't remember which order this is in Hopefully I can figure this out. Ah, cool. That didn't take too long. And I got some experience points. We'll take that. And I should probably do a little save. Like right on my other one. And let's move forward. Wait, did you feel that? You're going to need you're gonna be you're going to need to be more specific, Francine. Holy crap. I can read, I swear. No, I felt it too. Like a wave of heat washing over us. It was subtle, but it was something. There's nothing here. Perhaps you'll both imagining things. Perhaps. Let's just move on. This cold medicine has me uh, a little slow in the reading department. Hmm. I apologize. There's something peculiar about this section of corridor. We should search this area thoroughly. Whoa. Boo, boo, boo. Hint, hint, hint. Hey, magical stuff. Our first hidden room. What do you have for me? What are you? Whoops. There we go. Toolkit. That's another rogue toolkit. And we got, let's just say, Master Switch. Uh, can't do anything with that. Ah, map. Cool, now I got a map for the area. Let's check that out. Here I am in the hidden room. And that's all I have. That's not a big map, I'll tell you. But it's some map. It's better than no map, I guess. Whoops. All right, what do we got over here? Party found a statue of Endocost. Party experience bonus is now 1%. You know, I do believe we just found a statue of Endocost. I just happen to know exactly what one looks like, even though we never knew about this place. Do you suppose he made these himself? It would be a strong testament to his vanity. If he did, the thing has a crown on its head. Perhaps he had a royal ambitions. It wouldn't be surprising given his enormous wealth. Nor his standing. Don't forget that before the madness took him, Andwakos was a great mage and highly respected member of the city council. The statue is made of solid jade. Very rare and expensive these days. You realize that this item alone is probably worth more gold than any of us have ever held. Let's go ahead and keep it then. It'd be a shame for it to sit and gather dust on the shelf for another century. Alright, we got the jade. Fucker, let's go. We're done. What's this? Are you a key? Yes, you are a key. Hey. I gotta hit his portrait. Little things like that annoy me. It just takes a little bit too long to manage the inventory. But not like really, really annoy me. Just a little bit. Let's click on that. Nothing! You gotta go in here. You gotta go key, then you gotta go yay. Or I should should have just been able to hit the lock, in my opinion. That's just me though. Shira, tiny, anyone? Can you hear me? Uh yes, Aline, we hear you. We've made our way from way to some stairs that lead deeper underground. We're about to head down. Good word. You mentioned the sign earlier. Tell me, was it some sort of clue? It was. It turned out to be a hint as to the sequence in which the buttons needed to be pressed. I have no idea what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. I just guessed. I knew it. In the stories, Andokos filled his home with puzzles and tricks to keep the others out. When I saw that sign, I suspected that whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I don't... Okay, with your talents, you should have no problem deciphering it. It's just talking about puzzles. I solved the first puzzle without needing the clues. Because it was... Three different things. Those are, you know, three buttons to push in a certain sequence. Eventually, I was going to get it right. Floor one. All right. I really want to find a bow. And I know there's one somewhere close. I just don't know how close. More arrows. Now, I don't have a... Uh, nope, I don't have a map for this area. That's for sure. 
Um, ooh, I hear rats. Let's go back the other way real quick. Well, I think they're a... Uh, I came this way. Let's... Hmm. Boy, is there a thing here? Why'd she go, hmm? What am I, uh, what's going on here? Okay, we got a room. I hear more. Oh, I think there's a rat down here. Oh, shit. I'm not ready for that rat. I need that bow before I fight the rat. Oops. Another thing is I can't, I can't move while I'm uh, bent over there. I gotta, I gotta go back up. Just slightly annoying. All right. So let's go ahead and. Uh, I got a short sword. Oh, nice. That's gonna upgrade you, I'd imagine. That's probably gonna do. Uh, one to six damage as well. Okay. So what do you wear? You got a dagger. That's right. So let's, uh, that'll help out a little bit. But I'm not ready to fight this. I think that's a rat. Oh, no, no rat. Ah, a wand. Nice. So we'll go ahead and give that to you. Well, that's neat. I forgot I came on that so quick. Double click. All right, you got the wand. Now, what's this do? Apparently, I can, uh, that's for the main hand, or is this for the secondary? Okay. So, I want to make sure I get this into the main hand, um, because I can, you'll see in battle, uh, my Z, X, C, and V button are, uh, representative of 1, 2, 3, and 4, and that's for the attack button. So, as it's, uh, as the, uh, battle's going on, uh, there's cooldowns, and then if I want to quickly attack with my main hand, I can just hit one of those corresponding buttons instead of clicking, clicking, and waiting, and clicking, and all that. So that's uh, pretty important. All right, so I'm going to need another key. And I think I know where it's at. Uh, was it this way? No, that's where I came in. It's this way. Yes. And, all right, so this area, as you can see, trap door, no bueno. Now, this is pretty tough. I got to remember how to do this. It's one, two, three, four, five, forward and forward. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I can do this. If I'm off by a little bit, I die. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, got it. But that looks simple, but it actually... I died a couple times doing that. Admittedly so. Ah, yes, bow. Thank you. I will take that bow, and I'm going to... No, it's going to be your secondary. All right. Now, you have the best dexterity, so that means you have the best bow. That's what that means. All right. Uh, I should probably save right now. Now, let me tell you about the uh, the rats that we hear. They're no freaking joke, man. They don't look like it, but they can wallop you quite a bit. God, that's one big rat. Cloyce and I fought similar beasts once before in the hills outside of town. Of course, you two slapped through the entire encounter. Yeah, it couldn't have been much of a fight then. Admittedly, it was quite as large as this one. It wasn't quite as large as this one. All right. All right, so th this one's rather easy because... Uh, how'd I miss, really? I can, uh, can kind of soften him up a little bit. All right, let's go back. There we go. Ten damage. I'm going to get them a couple times. You're like, oh wow, a rat. No, they like take forever to kill. And they can kill me. It's rather disturbing. 
All right. I'm going to give it two more. Oh, well. I'm going to give it one more hit. And then I'm going to uh, fight it head on. See what happens. I just want to soften it up. All right. That should be good. Oh, I got some more arrows, too. Now, while I'm in cooldown, I can't actually move. While any of these are in cooldown, I cannot move at all. What was over here? Hmm. Detects a trickster wall. Ah, uh, did ya? Well, alrighty then. I like trickster walls. Well, what are you? We got a cloth armor suit. Let's give that to you, I think. I keep hitting I for inventory and it's not doing anything. Uh, Alright, get you plus 10 protection. So, 2 protection. I'll take it. And also, escape doesn't get you out of these menus. That's also a minor uh, a minor annoyance. Uh, you know, just stuff you're used to from other games. Things you think should automatically be, but they aren't. little annoyance, but... I'm not too mad. Nothing! Ha <laughs> ha! Nothing! Okay, back to the rat. Uh, let me, since I got that thing here, let me uh, do a little save. Alright, let's fight this rat again. Wait. Oh, huh, duh. This. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Hoo <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh, enter his space. I gotta wait for him to move back here. I'm gonna... Alright, let's try this again. Alright, here we go. Alright, so basically I'm just... I'm waiting for the cooldowns to let off. I'm hitting the right button. Oh, see, I already died. Now, look at all this health it took off. However, the cool thing is she uh, she comes back to life. I think. Yes, yes, there she goes. So, it's not the end of the world when somebody dies, but still, that rap meant business. So, you really start off not strong. And that's a testament to that. Looks at other maps. Looks these maps a uh, map did you say? Tremendous. Be sure to bring those back with you. I've always considered myself something of an amateur cartographer. We'll make map collection and del delivery a top priority. There's no need for sarcasm, dear. Uh, the, the writing in this game... Meh. Meh. But, it's still fun. Writing isn't everything. It's something, but it's definitely not everything. Another pickaxe. I Is this random, you know, or is that really just want me to have pickaxes? Alright, there's that key we needed. Alright. Whoops, wrong button. I gotta wait. So I gotta make a... Make it, make it, make it. You can do so. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back. Let's open that door with the key. Oh, I got to do this again. I'm actually saving right here. <laughs> All right, that part's getting easier for me now. I don't know why I faltered the first couple times. It's like, it's not a fluid, uh, forward. You can only move forward at a certain pace, no matter how fast I click the forward button, so. Alright, let's, uh, oh yeah, so we need to go right here. There should be a door. Alright, let's find that key. We oh, rat. Here we go. Let's see if we can soften it up first. And let's go. Now, one thing I didn't do, I forgot to look out. Let's see, get that mana back going.
All right, potion. Use that real quick. Okay. You see what I mean? Oh, nice hit. Cloyce. Oh, what do we got here? I don't remember anything dropping anything yet in this game. What are you? Take it. Uh, read. What is it? What is this? Click examine. A simple blue read. Combine it with a potion flask to brew mana potion. Oh. Let's uh, do that real quick. Hey, I'll take it. That's cool to know. I wonder if I just missed it last time. Actually, it's about as far as I got, really. I think right, I think basically this room. Uh, ooh. Now here's where I can use the toolkit. The check chest lock has been picked. Very good. What does that give me? A quarter staff. Take all. All right. I have a quarter staff. I might look into that. And let's do the pickaxe. I wonder from the back row if I can even hit with that dagger. I didn't really think about that. All right. We got a potion. Okay. Those are always good. Those are always good. All right. So let's pull the chain. Pull it there. So where are we? This is a pretty this bigger area. Um, I don't know how far it goes. I think we're going to be going to the next level pretty soon here. I'd imagine. And that's where I'm going to end. Ah, here it is. Okay, so that's going to be my first video. Uh, we're going to delve deeper next time and see if we can't pick up some stuff to help better protect us. And hopefully uh, level up in some near future. We got about this far killing two rats. So if we can uh, survive about... Two or th you know three or four more of those, uh, we should be able to make ourselves stronger, and that would be sweet. So we'll do that next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Later.